In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of production techniques that you can use in your um, master slides as you're building PowerPoint templates. And this idea, I was downloaded a free template from Creative Markets created by the folks at Dublin Design, so I want to give them props for this. A lot of times when I'm looking at the templates is I'm just looking for some production ideas or different techniques that they may have used, and I try to incorporate those into my own templates or my uh, e-learning courses. And they did a couple things that I thought were pretty clever. So the first thing is uh, you'll notice they have an insert image placeholder. Now what they did was they filled the insert image placeholder with a pattern fill. And so what's nice about that is let's say I like this slide but I don't want to insert an image. I don't want this big open space here because it may not look right. Uh, so I can um, leave the pattern fill. So if I preview this here, you can see I've got a pattern fill. So it kind of fits into the design of that particular slide. So um, I don't have a big empty space. Let's go ahead and get out of this. So if I um, want to change that, um, and I want to insert an image, I can insert an image. We'll just select this map image. When I insert that, now you can see I have an image here. So it works really well because if I didn't have an image, I'd have a big empty space. So using the pattern fill kind of fills that space a little bit. And you can make the pattern fill very subtle so it kind of fits into the design and, and kind of uh, it works really well that way. Um, the other thing they did that we'll look at is they actually created these custom shapes that you can fill as placeholders. So for example, I'm going to insert this shape. We'll go ahead and insert that map image. And you can see um, how that fills those shapes. So we'll look at how that works as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a blank PowerPoint file. So the first thing we want to do is go into our Slide Master. So I'm just going to view Slide Master and I've just got a blank layout here. And let's look at the Insert Placeholder option. So I'm going to insert a picture placeholder. And I'm just going to make it fill half of the screen. Now right now there's my placeholder, right? So if I close this and I go into my slide and let's say I apply that layout, you can see I've got my placeholder. Let's insert some generic text here. So I'm going to do the um, lorem ipsum text, right? So we've got some placeholder text. So I've got my placeholder text, or I've got my text on the screen, and then I've got this big area where I can insert an image. Now, um, if I don't insert an image, and I preview that, all of a sudden I've got this big empty area. So that's almost too much white space. That may also be confusing for people because sometimes they may anticipate that there's going to be some content there. And so if nothing shows up, they may think that it's not working right. So just something to keep in mind. So what we want to do is uh, subtly fill that. And so that's where using that pattern fills a nice way uh, to fill that space. So we're going to come back into our slide here. And what we're going to do is just go to the master slide again. So view, slide master, we'll come back here. And we can now right click on that placeholder and format shape. And then we will um, fill it with the pattern fill. And you can see there's a number of pattern options and you have some color. So you can make it very subtle so it doesn't have to be uh, in, in your face thing. I'm going to go ahead and make it very obvious so that we can uh, see the difference. So now if I go back to my slide, if I preview this, if I'm not using the um, placeholder, I've got something filled in there. And if I do want to use the placeholder, I can just insert an image, right? So I can come back here, insert an image, and I've got my image there. Now you're not limited to pattern fills, so you can Obviously, let's go ahead and delete this. Let's go back to the Slide Master view, Slide Master. I mean, if you want to, you can work with solid colors as well. So we can go to um, Format Shape, and let's just go ahead and make it a solid color. So let's say you want it a solid blue. We close that, and then you can see I've got the same option. Uh, I kind of like the pattern fill because it was a little, little bit more subtle, but uh, those are the options that you have. Um, so that's working with the pattern fill. The other thing is, you know, creating those custom shapes. So let's go back to the slide master view, uh, slide master, and when you insert a placeholder, so we're going to insert a picture placeholder 
here. When I insert that picture placeholder, uh, what you'll notice is it's a rectangular shape. If I right click on it, I can't edit the point, so I'm kind of stuck with the rectangular shape. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to change the shape. So we'll go to Edit Shapes up here under the Drawing Tools format. So we're going to Edit Shapes. You can change the shapes. You can change it to whatever. I'm going to change it back to a rectangle. Now what you'll notice is I can edit the points. And at this point, I can make my my shape, you know, any any shape I want it to be. Oops. Where did, where did it go here? Okay, so we want to edit points here. And I can make it, you know, as goofy as I want it to be. So now watch what happens. So if I close this, I'm going to reapply um, this layout here. We'll do this, this layout. And you can see if I delete it, insert, we'll move it over here. Oops. Insert a picture. And you can see I get that shape I made. So that's one way to do that. The other way we can do that is we go to Slide Master here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Um, oops. The other thing we can do is uh, let's insert a placeholder. And this is kind of what they did here. So we've got our image, right? And um, you've got these merge shapes feature. So let's say I'm going to insert another shape here and we'll just insert these diagonal shapes. Right? So I've got this this diagonal shape here. And we'll let me duplicate this a couple times here. So what you can do here is I've got this diagonal shape, right? And I've got my bottom shape, but I'm going to select the top shape. I'm going to go to merge shapes and then I can subtract and you can see how that works. And then we'll bring in another shape here. Let's just, oops, let's just um, do this here. We'll make it really long. Okay. So again, not perfect, but you kind of get the idea. So we're going to select that and we're going to merge shapes. And then you can see I've got this. So now when I come over here, um, let's delete this, all this text here. Let's go ahead and apply that layout. So now when I insert a picture, uh, you can see that the picture comes in all cut up. So a lot of neat things you can do. Again, the way uh, they did it on their template, if we go back to their template, they did a really nice job integrating it with other design elements. So you can see that here. Uh, you can see that here. Uh, so a lot of really neat ways uh, to incorporate that in your design. You can see here with the with a color kind of combining the colors with the um, with the image fill on um, some really nice nice things that you can do. So a lot of great ways to get inspiration. They did a great job. Uh, it's a great way for you to uh, add a unique or novel look uh, to your templates.